Life is this. I like this. I am somebody. I am somebody. I can change the world. I can change the world. The major mistake that everybody makes is waiting. Waiting to fucking feel like it. Waiting for somebody to pick you. Waiting for the right time. Waiting for you to feel motivated. It's not coming. For the big stuff, for the hard stuff, it requires a push, always has, always will. Nobody is coming to save your ass. It is up to you. And so if you want to change anything about your life, stop sitting around and wasting your goddamn life and start pushing yourself. Whether it's a fast or it is starting a business or it is changing how you talk to your spouse or it's changing the kind of parent that you are, you got one life. As soon as you open up your eyes, understand that you enter into consciousness. It is at that moment that your creativity is at its most powerful. At that moment, you have an opportunity to steer your thoughts and your emotions in the direction that you want them to go. In other words, you can choose to seize the day or you could let the day seize you. It's time to stay focused. It's time to decide, fuck clubs, fuck partying, fuck trying to fit in and socialize, rub elbows with everybody so people can stop calling you weird. Why are you so antisocial? Because I'm trying to get it. Why are you staying on the basketball court so much? Because I'm trying to get it. Why are you out there practicing in the hot sun when ain't nobody else out there? Because I'm trying to get it. Why are you not clubbing like every time I text you and invite you to go do something fun and cool, you always studying? Because I'm trying to get it. Let me tell you something, homie. These women ain't going nowhere. These clubs, these parties, all this shit ain't going nowhere. The more weird you are is a reflection of how committed you are to focusing on your shit, molding and shaping and developing your ideas and your craft so that when it's time for you to make your rounds, you're going to fly. I think we can all agree that today, too many people wake up in the morning and as soon as they open up their eyes, the first thing they focus on is the grueling day that they had the day before all the things that didn't turn out the way they wanted it to go. Then they start thinking about the grueling day that lies ahead of them, the traffic jam that they have to be into. And then they can't understand why, when they're going into work, their energy level is down here. And with what you're trying to accomplish, with the responsibility that you have, it has to be up here. It has to be up here. So what I'm asking you to do as soon as you open up your eyes, before you take the covers off, before you plant your feet on the floor, is to think of something or someone that you are totally grateful for in your life. I don't care who it is, and I don't care what it is. Maybe it's the person lying next to you, maybe you're thinking of your children, the dog that's lying on the side of the bed, the cat that's lying on the other side of the bed, maybe you're listening to the birds outside the window in your house, maybe you're thinking of your home. Maybe it's a particular goal that you achieved or someone that you helped a couple of days before. Folks, it doesn't matter what it is or who it is. Just feel it with your heart and soul and keep building.